Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Speed Engineering, the third episode of Power, the third and I think the last one. Today we will talk about the S58 engine um, and see what kind of potential this engine has after the S55, I think uh, that was the previous engine. And um, yeah, this is the G80 from, I think it's a corporation project from Lada Manufaktur and Korte as they are working very closely together. And Paul will again explain to us what did they do with this engine, what is the potential, what are the different stages, what kind of uh, turbocharger are they using or will they use. And um, yeah, I'm very curious, stay tuned. And again, Paul, our expert from Cotter Performance when it comes to power. What's happening with this car? Um, oh, yeah. What happened? Because this is also not stock as every car in this, uh, in this company. It's happened and happening. Um, this is our G80. Yeah. Um, with our partner Lada Manufaktur, yeah. uh, which is another one of our development cars, um, where we're trying to find out what's going on with the new M3 platform, uh, the new engines. S58. Yeah, yeah S58, which um, are in the M3, M4, and will also be in the new M2. Yeah, and X3 and something like that, but I think it's not that interesting. X3 and X5, I guess, but yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. What happened to this car? Um, at the moment, just software. Just mapping, just mapping, um, and on your dyno. By the way, um, the guys we didn't show it. I think in the last two episodes, the guys have a, a, a own dyno for sure. Yeah, rear wheel, all wheel. We have an all wheel drive dyno, uh, which is rated up to two thousand horsepower. Okay, um, it's, it's enough, I guess. Yeah, it's uh, it's enough um, which, for a daily. Yeah, where we do all of our mapping. Um, okay, on the dyno. Yeah, sorry for the interruption. No, no worries. So. The only thing that happened to this car is a stage one, or a mapping. Um, a mapping. Stage two now. Stage um, two. With this car, we're running different software configurations, so we try to see what the limiters are when you tune the car, because yeah. the development of a tune and software for this car also takes time, Yeah. Uh, because all the platforms are different. And um, yeah, and did this, you figure out what the limitation is? Yeah, it's you know software limiters. So ah, okay. you, you have to go into specific things in the software which may limit the potential ah, of tuning. And uh, to find those hidden pieces understood. sometimes takes some time um, sure. and some testing. Um, and yeah, that's one of the things we've been doing with the car. It currently has downpipes yeah. with uh, race cats yeah um because we're testing different downpipe configurations as well so stock with the opf uh, sure. race cats with opf race cats without opf uh, and then catless without opf and then full straight pipe uh, so we run through different configurations because every car that you get from a customer well. may have a different exhaust configuration and this way we can see what's going on with the cars how different downpipes may limit the car yeah. and what the maximum power is that you can run with these different configurations. What are you running right now? Um, at the moment this car has downpipes and a tune so it's at around about 750 horsepower. Which is a lot. Which is quite a lot, yeah. Um, so this would be a stage two. We have run the car with above 800 horsepower on alcohol Yeah. Um, for testing. Uh, yeah. just to see how far we could actually push it yeah um, and yeah we're, we're currently building an engine for this car with which turbos. we will show up yeah upstairs now? upstairs um, and yeah okay so the next step will be the build engine which you, you will show us now yeah uh, another turbo no two turbos yeah two yeah, upgrade, it's, it's upgrade turbo. turbos two upgrade turbos build engine okay and then we go from there and see what so will be more than 1000 horsepower we're hoping so, sounds uh, like that yeah so let's go upstairs i guess you did, did you change something engine wise from uh, what we will see now the internals of the engine yes the rods are different the rods yeah um and is everything else in the engine so the crankshaft and all, all those uh, and the pistons they're quite robust 
yeah. um, are the weak part of this engine, as with the S55. Okay. So currently this engine only has upgrade rods. Yeah. Um, and we go from there. We see what happens, what you know, what the capabilities are, where the limitations are, and from there yeah. we either go further or we offer it to customers because we always want to find out what the limits are. Yeah. Because you never want a failure on the customer part. Sure. I can also see the Lama Factor Turbo Lada. Yes. Turbo Lada. <laughs> turbo tr yeah, these are turbo two chargers. Two, uh, I think they will be called Cotton 900 um, yeah. once they're finished. Also, development parts. Um, yeah, and these turbos with this engine should, in theory, make a thousand horsepower. Okay. Yes, and we also, what I see now, is that we are also involved in this development as it seems because those are prototypes for the for the studs yeah um, because uh, they have a bigger diameter now yeah with the with the, the inlets correct and we're doing prototypes for this project because we have to test how it fits in the car because um, those will be produced lately uh, in aluminum which is quite expensive mm. and uh, therefore we have to test them before and doing those prototypes as you can see here and there and um, yeah that's just a little part of of the main thing you guys are testing and working on yeah the engine's pretty much done at this point uh, just need to put the head cover on and okay one or two little details and once we find time okay so this will happen this year right uh, yeah if if we hope so but we're, we're, we're planning on it yeah. um, but it's always a matter of time Sure. Because as always, you know, there's always customer cars and other things going on. As always. So, um, but yeah, we're we're working on it steadily, uh, still in development of software. Uh, and mm -hmm. once that's finished and we've explored every aspect, we can then move on. Because once you put the built engine in with the turbos, the car is no longer stock. Sure. And you don't have the same parameters or base parameters that you have when everything's stock because the turbochargers work differently, the build engine might yeah, work yeah, differently, yeah. Um, and that way you can fully test. Um, yeah, I like the way you're going through, like you try to squeeze out everything on the, on the material yeah. you have, on the OEM material, and then you go to the next step and take this as a base and try to squeeze out everything. Yeah, you have to figure out every aspect, uh, the weak parts, the strong the parts. Weak. Yeah, um, which takes time, and then you know, changing exhaust configurations and, sure. and uh, maybe trying different things with fuel mixtures, with alcohol, more alcohol, less alcohol. Then we take the car out to events, yeah, to test it on. Which you already did with the with the OEM uh, yeah, engine. Yeah, yeah, it's already been out on on I so think two or three around. events uh, to test how the launch control behaves, how the car, you know, if there's any any cuts and acceleration up top or if there's fuel limitations at a certain point yeah uh, uh, in that way we can develop the best possible map options for customers so that they can take their car to events maybe drive it on the racetrack on country roads and have the most fun without any issues perfect okay i'm very curious what will happen with this car what will be the next bottleneck what's happening with the gearbox um, do the turbos um, do the thousand horsepower without any issue? Which I believe, because um, yeah, I know who did them. Yeah, it's yeah, and it's you know, fuel is always the question: Is there enough fuel? Yeah. Do we need bigger pumps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a lot of different factors. Cooling. Same. Yeah, sorry. Cool. Uh, the car I think already has Wagner intercooler on it as well. Uh, yeah. Which Wagner awesome. developed and put on the car. With this car, right? Yeah. That was the that was the development car for Wagner. Just by the way. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Uh, so there will be, I think, um, it's an option to, to buy it already. Did they already, I, I, already I, I, go to semi production? Know. That I don't know. I okay. know one is fitted on the car, um, and that was. So it will follow car. definitely. Yeah. If it's not already online, then it will be. Yeah, and there's lots more things to come in the future. I think uh, you know the G80 platform is just getting started. Definitely. And there's huge amounts of potential. Yes. Um, maybe not with a stock engine, but you know who knows? Maybe we'll see some really really fast cars. I guess. I guess so. Um, yeah, we also um, have a job now to develop the or to optimize the intake of the car because it has the same issue as the S55, um, like in the M2 competition, for example. So we will make a RAM air kit for this car 
and we are very glad to count you and Lada Manufaktur as our partners to be part of those interesting projects. Um, also, if it's just small things like those, but they help you to um, reach your target or yeah. your goals. Small things make a difference. Small things make a difference, yeah. And we are glad to be a uh, part of it. And yeah, we will keep you updated. Please leave a comment below what you're interested in if you want us to follow up on this project. And um, yeah, we are very likely to do so. Thanks for watching. See you next time.